another exciting episode of Sunday Night Skeet. I am your host and commentator. What the hell? What? It's Barry Cranker taking on Matt Green. What the? It, that, this shit hasn't even started yet. What the fuck? That was shorter than, than the loading screen took. What the hell's going on here? Here is your winner, Barry. Barry Cranker picks up his first win. On a blacked out drunk Mangria. Yeah, we couldn't see the entrances because this is Sunday Night Skeet, but he had three C and I cats lead him to the ring. He's not blind, but he's drunk. I, I guess. Congratulations. Well, hopefully, this match lasts longer than our first match, folks. It's Kay Yoso, the current Plan B champion, taking it to a Bohemoth here. It's Linda's Bush. Kay Yoso, all kinds of confidence. She may have lost the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships, questionably. Now she's uh, breakdancing with the ref. But she held on to the Plan B Championship despite being uh, brutalized in that tag team match. And now she's going up against this behemoth, Linda Bush. Possibly looking to get back into title contention here tonight. Linda's bus dropping an elbow on little Kyosa. The size difference, folks, alone. Look at this. This is Andre Rey Mysterio here. As uh, Kyosa, she's doing her best to take down the legs. you got to chop down this ugly tree. Start with the legs. It's very smart. However, Linda's bush, extremely powerful. Snake Eyes, Sumo Kyosu. You know, Linda Bush has never held a women's championship. Linda Bush was one half of the Finding Fuji Tag Team Champions a very long time ago. Ever since then, Linda Bush has been fighting and fighting and fighting. I mean, she's sort of taken seriously, but more of like, this dope ain't gonna beat me, but you're gonna get a pounding. Okay, Yosef again, focusing on the legs, very smart, but oh, Linda Bush, the power, the power is undeniable. Jawbreaker to Linda Bush. Okay, Yosef has the most damage, but she's, she's dished out the most offense. Nice. She calls that the sashimi leg drop. I don't know. Is it? Oh! Kicked out at two. Representing the chin fluence still. Oh boy. There we go. This could spell the end for Linda Bush. Carrie Wilson. Gotta go hard for this one. And she nailed it. This could be all she wrote for Linda Bush. Kay Yosef making short work of, no, Linda Bush still in it. She hasn't sustained that much uh, damage. I mean, she didn't get kicked in the head. Look at Kay Yosef to the tippy top rope. Oh, stomping the gunt of Linda Bush. Linda Bush, oh, nice. Dragon screw. And now Linda Bush attempting something. Kay Yosef countered. And little Kyosa. Oh, nice. Hell of a neck breaker to Kyosa. And there it is. Nice. The style of Kyosa. This she could have it this time. Kyosa with an easy victory. No. I mean, her body's damaged, but it's still an easy victory because this match has been very short. Oh, misses the moonsault. Look at this. The disrespect. Stepping on Kaosa's ribs and now strangling the life out of this, this little woman. Kaosa. Accolades for days. The Spitfire of APBW. Nice leg, Larry. Oh my God. Goes for the pinfall attempt. This could be it. She toppled Linda's foot on Sunday night. Steve. Oh, kicked out again. Even she is, is, she's very confused. Oh man, she has innovative offense, but Glenda Bush is just a 
a brick shit house of manure. Yeah, as she strangles the life out of Kegos up in the center of the ring. Again, why is it the ref stopping this? He's not even counting to five. Wait a minute, what the hell? Nia Jax! Isn't this what Linda's Bush would look like in human form? Why is Nia Jax helping Kay Yosef? This is big bitch on big bitch crime. Crucifix pinned to Linda's Bush! Oh, a distraction! Nearly paid off right there. Kay Yosef! Now attacking the arm of Linda's Bush. Nia Jax is still out here. Nia Jax versus Linda's Bush. We would have to reinforce the ring, folks. Why the hell would Nia Jax stick her fat camel's knuckle in Linda's Bush's business? Oh boy, KO's about to get power bombed out of her death. No, one. Linda's Bush has a power bomb symphony. Holy shit. She just broke that woman in half. Oh, she grabbed the ropes and the ref noticed this time. Usually, some you know, that happens and the ref doesn't catch it. He caught it this time. K. Yosef, of course, a veteran in APPW. Oh, boy. Is about to get destroyed. Yeah, huge. Nobody kicks out of this move. Thanks for coming, K. Yosef. Wow. Victory. The biggest victory of Lillian Bush's career. Linda's Bush picks up a victory over the Plan B champion despite Nia Jax. What the hell is this thing doing? Oh boy. Oh boy. This bitch, uh, she's on some kind of crazy weed or something. Nia Jax is pissed. Moving on to the triple threat match between three women who are all tied up in the APPW Women's Championship picture. Of course, Mangina and Ivory, both former APPW Women's Champions. Neither of them have got their rematch yet. Still, the wound is still fresh. The axe wound is still fresh, folks. Alexa Bliss, the second woman. Oh, look at the butt fingers. That's her butt fingers. Smother and Ivory in the middle of the ring. Alexa Bliss, of course, the second woman ever to have, to have been Mrs. Money in the Bank, Mrs. Money in the Stank, and failed. Alexa failed at her cash in. She was looking to, to take advantage of the situation at In Your Sniz, but failed. And Ivory headbutting bitches. Mangina with the butt fingers and now taking it to Ivory. Who, by the way, is very, very angry she didn't get her rematch. She's blaming everybody, by the way. Management, she even blames uh, the fudging elite. She said if JH was here, this travesty would not have happened. Mangina, on the other hand, no one gives a fuck what it says. Alexa Bliss, from the Chinfluence, is about to eat a Fuji knee to the grill. Mangina, this alpha. You gotta imagine the winner of this match might actually get another shot at the APBW Women's Championship. Mangina using her hooks to attack the limbs of Alexa. Ivory back to her feet, ready to do some damage, pulling the arm out of the socket of Alexa as Mangina poses for no reason, wasting everybody's time. And now, Mangina looking to do some damage to Ivory. Ivory reverses. Mangina reverses. It's a reverse fest, folks. Sunday Night Skeet. Triple threat match. Oh, there's the, the calling card of the Magic Muff Mafia. They love this series of attacks. They do it multiple times. I'm guessing that's the default setting in female characters. I don't know, folks, but I'm just watching. I'm commentating. I'm looking this, at this match. I'm seeing Alexa spike DDT Ivory. Mangina better break this up, and she does. Apparently, rope breaks can never be turned off. But this is a triple threat match. So there's no DQ and no countouts. 
So if one of these women want to get a weapon, a chair, a ladder, whatever they want, and beat the shit out of each other, it's all legal here tonight at Sunday Night Skeet. We're looking for momentum here for the ABBW Women's Championship picture. We already saw Linda's Bush get a shocking victory over little K. Yosef. Of course, K. Yosef also in the chin fluence. Alexa in the chin fluence. The very bizarre tactics of Alexa at Emil Sniz has everybody puzzled. K. Yosef, I guess the relationship is fine. I have no idea. K. Yosef, Alexa Bliss. Also losing the, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. It was not a good night to be Alexa Bliss at In Your Sniz. But as we see, oh, Ivory is one tough broad. Angina tackled Ivory and defeated her to become the APBW Women's Champion. So now that we got a triple threat match, look at this. Alexa struggling to take Mangina off her hoofs, but knee attacks. Uh-oh, there it is again. That's the move that makes the Magic Monk Mafia famous here. Besides looking ugly and smelling horribly. As it goes to work on Alexa again. Alexa's head damage is uh, the worst she has. Ivory's got head damage, body damage. Mangina as well, head and body damage. Judo flip to Mangina Ivory. Looking to regain her winning ways. Get back to the championship picture. Mangina with a knee to the face. Uh-oh. Oh, Mangina headed to the tippy top rope. Could it be the slacker? Yes. Rigo Mortis from the top rope. God, Ivory. Ivory barely kicked out within a Smurfs cunt hair. That was so close. Mangina tsunami of fucking sweat all over Ivory from the top rope. Look at this. Double team to Ivory. I think they recognize she's a threat. She, They recognize she is a threat, so they are doing whatever they can to take out Ivory here tonight. Sunday Night Skeet. I can't believe the Magic Muff Mafia is actually building this much momentum here in APPW. I mean, Trans Towns is not really doing much. But look at that! That was the IBS, the Irritable Bitch Syndrome. And she gets a two and a half. That's the move that won her. The APPW Women's Championship, the IBS from Mangina. Mangina and Alexa. Squaring off now, Ivory recuperating. Look at it. Alexa, arm drag. Didn't do much damage, but it threw Mangina off her game. And Alexa now with an STO. Ivory, look at Ivory taking advantage of the distraction. Full Nelson slam. Ivory can pick up the victory over little Alexa. Little Miss Bliss in trouble as Ivory takes it. Oh, a big splash by a 60-year-old. I'm not sure how much damage that could do, but they're both scrawny as hell. Ivory. Oh, that's a J.H. Lariat for Alexa to chew on. This could be it. Ivory picks up the big... Oh, Alexa. Alexa. Showing how tough she is. Kicking out at the last second as Mangina galloped back into the ring and is celebrating for absolutely no reason. Ivory going to make her pay for it for sure. Look at that. What does she have in store now for Mangina, the woman or, or the thing that took her APBW championship from her? Ivory. Raking the face of Mangina. And now Ivory dragging. That that takes a lot of work. I'm surprised she's not using a forklift to the middle of the ring. Ivory looking to end this match right now with another J.H. Lariat. A J.H. Lariat. Alexa right there, though. Alexa Johnny on the spot to break that up. Alexa tossing Ivory out. Alexa now going to 
add some more damage to Mangina's torso. It's Twisted Bliss. Twisted Bliss for the victory. Ivory breaking it up. Mangina has taken both finishers and continues to lay there. we got to imagine whoever can pin. Oh, that's a chase, Larry. Ivory has it for sure. Ivory has it for sure. Oh, my God, Alexa. How does she keep kicking out of this shit? Oh, a kick right to the face. Look at Mangina go. She's fighting like there's a box of donuts on the line. Mangina now has Alexa all to herself. What is she going to know, Alexa? Oh, a bitch slap to a half up. Smart DDT. Alexa Bliss looking to regain momentum. Pins Mangina. This could be it. Two, three. Alexa gets the dub. only one who really doesn't deserve a rematch, but a victory over two former champions. Gotta say something. Welcome to your main event of Sunday Night Skeet, folks. These four men have been involved in matches with each other. It's all gonna lead up to the bloodbath and beyond. Crowning of a brand new champion, the King of Skeet Champion. Who will it be? We have a battle royal here to determine more momentum. Take Chris once again going after Julius Caesar. These two have been fighting and Tank Chris has got the, the one-upsmanship over Caesar a, a, a lot. It, it's, been, it's been very shocking, folks. We're not used to seeing Caesar lose, but Tank Chris with the dubs. On Dynamite, his team lost. Tank Chris, Cesar, and Franco teamed up. And that team lost. Tank Chris beat Cesar in a two out of three falls match. Tank Chris jumped Cesar during his entrance, got a victory in that match. We have a battle royal now. A battle royal. The momentum has been shifting, but it seems like all the momentum is in Johnny Harmsway's corner. The fudging elite since Johnny Harmsway has taken over has been victorious more often than not. Johnny Harmsway lifts Tank Chris, my God. The strength of Johnny Harmsway and the technical, the skill of Johnny Harmsway. Very impressive. Now, Fudging Elite is back on the map because of Johnny Harmsway. Of course, Tank Chris, the reason. Oh, <laughs> so much for Johnny Harmsway. He just got eliminated. But still, Tank Chris is the reason why JH is buried in 2006. So, of course, the Johnny Harmsway had a grudge, but he is walking back to the locker room right now. Momentum will once again shift for one of these guys, Franco, the dark horse of the four men. Franco, not he doesn't say much. He won the Adam Copeland Memorial Battle Royal at Decent Mania, but he has not done anything since that. Franco would love to be the king of the first ever king of skeet champion. We're gonna see a bloodbath and beyond. It's going to be a four-man elimination match. That's all I was given information for, for Bloodbath and Beyond. Franco about to sail over the top rope, and he does. We're down to the two men who have been fighting for weeks. Cesar, oh, spoiling Tank Christmas fun. This is Cesar's show. And speaking of the BBC, to Tank Chris. Caesar will not lose. Look at this. Holy shit. He is making Tank Chris pay. Wow. Caesar will not lose on his show. This is Sunday Night Skeet. He has all the damage done. Look at that. Holy shit. I've never even seen that move before. Caesar is all fired up. 
He must have doubled down on the reverse kryptonite tonight, folks. Because now he's looking to toss. No, tight press. Holy shit. That, the strength needed for this. Mega pound slam. Could Tank Chris pull the upset of a lifetime and defeat Cesar on his own show? Oh my God. The earth just shook on that, folks. As Tank Chris looking to crush the ribs of Cesar. My God, these two have been at each other's throats. Both worthy competitors in ABBW. Tank Chris looking to toss out. No, he hung him up on the top rope instead. Tank Chris and Cesar. There we go. Cesar refuses to lose on his own show, but look at he might not have a chance. Oh! Tank Chris tossing Cesar around like he's a cruiserweight. And Tank Chris, but Cesar, what is happening here? There we go. Cesar slapping, punching. That was a reverse atomic drop, I believe. As now Cesar looking to eliminate Tank Chris. Tank Chris snaps out of it. He snaps out of it. The Tank. This is Halloween season. Tank Chris has, is even more powerful than usual. He is going to defeat Cesar on Cesar's own show. Oh my God. Tank Chris. Tank Chris has done something nobody's been able to do. He has defeated Cesar on Sunday Night Ski. In a battle royal, but still.